vlogger day. 776. It's wow. Good morning. It's Saturday, Friday, Saturday. It's Friday for me, Saturday for you. So that means that today is French Friday. It's a late French Friday, and I'm almost put back together. I'm almost a functioning human being again. Today, for French Friday, we're gonna go out to Versailles, and we're gonna actually go out to Versailles and just hang out. We're gonna do it in kind of a relaxed way. I'm uh, taking Laura and Kate out, and I'm gonna give them a little bit of a tour, uh, show them around, but ooh, I didn't even think about this until just now. We're gonna hunt space invaders. They don't know that yet, but I know Laura will be excited. We'll find out how Kate feels about that when, when I tell her. We're gonna go hunt some space invaders out in Versailles. We're gonna check out a coffee shop that just opened up out there about a year ago. It's in my guide. It's called the Stray Bean. It's really nice uh, and get some good coffee from them. And then we'll hit up the market because today's a full food market day. I timed this on purpose. We're gonna go to the full market, gonna find some tasty food. We're gonna take it out to the grounds of Versailles for a picnic. I'll fly my drone a little bit, ride around, and then we'll cap off the evening by going to a Lost in French Lation movie screening. I, I don't actually even know what the, the movie's gonna be. Ooh, I should probably email them and make sure that they know that I'm coming. But Lost in French Lation is basically an organization that screens recent French movies with English subtitles so that English speakers like myself can work on their French and then they bring in cast or crew somebody interesting from the movie uh, to talk to the audience afterwards it's kind of a cool evening I'm looking forward to doing it it'll be my second out of three times I tried to go uh, like a month ago and it didn't I didn't I didn't make it sorry man no anyways let's go hop on a train and get out to Versailles <laughs> Did you already see one? Oh, I thought you had like a mission. <laughs> Normally I'd go out the side door, but we can go out this way because it's, it's open. This is the one RER station where you don't need your ticket to get out. We are going to be hunting space invaders and I'm really surprised that she hasn't seen one already. Laura's got like laser eyes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and we are getting Kate on because she hasn't been on it yet and uh, so we'll get her started. You don't have to be very close. You do it from here for sure. Oh you got a oh you got a city bonus, new city. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> I already have all these ones. I'm kinda worried though that I wanna find some new ones today, but see I don't know where any of the new ones are. This actually isn't so bad. There's not very many people here for once, which is nice. This palace gets bonkers in the morning. People think that you should come to Versailles first thing in the morning, but generally that's a bad idea. Today, the line only looks like maybe an hour long, which it can actually stretch all the way from all the way up there, snake its way through this courtyard, and then end up all the way down to the street, which is a really terrible combination. So that we'd come see it and then go get coffee. <laughs> This is the only street in Versailles with anything interesting going on and I actually made sure to mark my two favorite beer spots on this street. There's a beer cellar vendor called Bureau Tech over on the left and then the Barados on the right and the Barados has a very regal looking Space Invader on it. The Barados usually has like some really good local beer on tap. It's not the cheapest. It's uh, definitely a little bit on the pricier side but it's worth it if you want to go inside like if it's raining or something. Perfect, if you don't care to go inside, across the street, around here somewhere, ah, right behind me is the Bureau Tech. And Brees, the guy who owns that place, super nice. Really nice guy, say hi to Brees for me. Ah. 
we're just cruising around town looking for Space Invaders now. We're gonna head to Coffee because coffee sounds good. I've heard that there's a Space Invader on one of the wings of the envelope of the chateau. So I thought we'd check the, the side that I've never been to and we can try the other side later. And I know where a bunch of other ones are, which we'll get to them, but I've already gotten these guys like three so far. So that's a good start. I think we might have missed one. Now that I think about it. Yeah. And that was not just to test your ability to see them. That was, I think I forgot to show you one. Anywho, coffee. Good. I didn't know they did pour over either. I, could, I think the last time I came out here, I didn't drink it yet. So that was really, really good. It's very, very good. The carrot cake. Kate, you liked your carrot cake? So good. You did, did you not get a snack? I tried some of hers and some of yours. They were both great. Both great? The cookie was delicious. Didn't meet Laura's top standards because she's the, those have been blown for Paris by Fringe, but still very good. Definitely get coffee. We're gonna go to the market, grab lunch, and then head out to the grounds. Always want cash for the market. Not everybody takes cards. More people do now, but you want to make sure you have cash. Also, pro tip, if you're here on a tour with a tour guide, you want cash so you can tip your tour guide. These tour guides do make tips here in France. You don't tip for restaurants so much, like a euro or two generally, unless you're at a nice, nicer place, it's up to you. But I gotta give a plug to my fellow tour guides out in the world. You do want to make sure you tip your tour guide. And since we're out here riding bikes, thanks to Bike About Tours, they loaned us these bikes for the day. It only makes sense to give them an extra, give, give the guides an extra plug on that front as well. These bikes, solid. Okay, we're almost to the market. The market's just in here and uh, we'll show you the outdoor market. Came on a Friday because on Tuesdays, Fridays and Sundays, Versailles has an outdoor market as well as their indoor market in the Notre Dame market, the Marché de Notre Dame. So we're gonna go partake of that and get some tasty stuff and then go have a picnic. Always running into each other. This is Bruno's sausage stand. It's in the guide. You have to come say hi to Bruno. We're gonna go say hi. I don't even know if I want any saucisson, but I want to say hi to Bruno. Salut Bruno! Hello! Ça va? I think there's, you can get anything in this market. Kareem has some of the best orange juice in town. If you see Kareem's stand, that big orange stand. If, you want, if you've not had orange juice in France yet, you have to get orange juice from Kareem. It is actually really, really good. I'm gonna go for the Turkish Golzem, I think, today. Sounds delicious for lunch. Pepidus, those are gonna be the two things that I get. I don't know what you guys are gonna get. We'll figure this out. Hey, no way. Oh, where's the Golzem? There it is. Oh, I love this place. Salut. These are delicious, and they'll make them hot for you too. So the Golzim are kind of like a Turkish quesadilla. It, he'll fry it up so you can eat it hot right then, or give it to you cold so you can eat it later. I think I'm gonna end up getting it hot and hope that it doesn't like fall apart being hot in my bag, but it'll be, it'll be worth it. I think we're gonna go pretty much straight to lunch from here. The locations of all these suggestions are in my guide, except for the wine. I forgot to uh, actually talk about Julian's wine stand, but everything else is in the guide. The one thing I'm gonna get that I also have highly recommended is the Pepidus. Ooh, the cheese lady here too, she's really nice. Do you see this lady with her hat, black hair? Nicest lady in the market. The nicest guy in the market is Bruno. We're gonna go see Bruno too. And then Morgan's crepes look very closed, which is always what happens to me. She's always closed when I come, but the best crepes in France, possibly, best crepes I've found yet in France, Morgan's crepes. She comes back September 4th. Well, now I have to bring them back over here. I was trying to save time and then I found a new Space Invader. For 10, it cost me 560. It's not so bad. Now, before we go anywhere, we have to say hi to Bruno and his lovely wife. Bonjour. Ouais, et toi? Bruno is the single nicest human being in the market. He's, he's in my guide. Hello. <laughs> you have to come say hi to Bruno, even if you're not a meat eater. You just have to come say hi. Lovely human being, and the special foie gras behind him. All, all those tips in my guide, check it out. He's amazing. You know, super <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> He'll actually, I don't get any kickbacks for this. I just love Bruno. You have to come say hi to Bruno. <laughs> All 
All right, we have everything we need, including one more Space Invader. We're gonna go get one more Space Invader right behind the church, Notre Dame, my favorite Space Invader in town, and then we're gonna go in and have our picnic at long last. nice and quiet out here this is really fun it's I normally i'm very rarely out here just to have fun it's usually because i'm like leading a tour or something so it's really nice to just come out here and kind of fart around and check out the market ride trees are starting to lose some of their leaves it feels like fall the weather's perfect so nice and quiet so we're gonna have a picnic up here on the canal one of my favorite spots i'm gonna take these guys to my favorite spot to have a picnic on the canal where there's a little bit of shade but we can still see the castle and then we'll uh, take the bikes back for after that and head back into paris that's the plan at least <laughs> These are puppet ears. For those of you who uh, have not watched my vlog for a long time, I have a lot of videos about Versailles. You can find one that's pretty much dedicated to puppet ears. I think at least it's titled that. There's one about using the market. There's a lot. So just feel free to dig deeper. This isn't the most comprehensive video because we're just out here having fun. Puppet ears I already explained in the market, but these guys have not had them. So put that right there. I got three for each of us. Ooh. And then we got our goals in. We're just gonna eat. This is my favorite spot. If you go up to the top of the canal and come back down to like just the, the top shoulder, the left shoulder, I guess, if this was a head or a body, then you've got a great view of the chateau. You've got shade and you're not like all those suckers up there eating in the sun. Let's eat. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> he's open now, so we're gonna grab a beer for the train, but he's helping us find more Space Invaders, which we'll get as many as we can before we leave, and then, and then we'll hit the train and go back. <laughs> Bree sent us, he gave us some hints on some good ones. This, I love this one. This is a garden maze Space Invader. We're gonna get a few more, and then we're gonna go. Orangino away from me. <laughs> Anyways, we found 17 invaders, including the ones I already had, which is a good day out in bear size. So that was nice. Feel it. Definitely earned our beer today. And uh, now movie time. Ro 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 wardrobe change. I don't know why I decided to turn that into like a wardrobe change. But yeah, movie time. Try and find some food and uh, and then go enjoy a movie. We're also on the wrong street, so we're gonna have to go over a street. We'll figure this out. <laughs> I got a croque monsieur waffle, she got a vegetable waffle. I have no idea what to expect. We gotta eat before we get into this thing. We're running kinda late, so yeah, food, food's important. So, I'll let you know if it's, I, I, opinions soon. That was delicious. Surprisingly, that was actually really good. I mean, not that I doubted it. I did kinda doubt it. It was really good. I enjoyed that. We're gonna go into the Luminor here, watch a movie. 
can't really film the movie itself, but I'll give you a little bit of a peek inside the Luminar, and then that'll be that. I'm gonna show you. I'll, I'll go get my ticket. Supposedly, my name is on a list of some sort. We'll see if that. We'll see if I have tickets here. The Swanson. In the end, it was a very good film. Fun experience. The film itself was incredibly graphic, but really a really good movie at the same time. So, had a good time. Thanks for inviting me, Manon. And uh, now I'm gonna go home and actually edit this movie. I mean, vlog, I mean, whatever it is that we're doing. I had a lot of fun in Versailles today and I can't wait to see the, how the drone footage turned out. I hope it was good. I will see you right early tomorrow morning for, you know, whatever comes next. <laughs>